Welcome to Pandora's Box Video Tutorials. In this lesson, we want to show you how to feed your LED tiles using Artnet with Pandora's Box. First, open Pandora's Box, go to Tools and Matrix Patcher. When the Matrix Patcher opens, we start with a new patch. Type in the resolution you want to work with in Pandora's Box output. If the white border disappears, click into the empty window and use your mouse wheel to zoom back to our active area. Now go to Edit at the menu bar. Here you find the Fixture Editor, which I will explain later, and the option to check Add Fixtures at 100% size, what means that all available pixels of the chosen fixture will fit one by one to the pixel of your output. That might bring you to the situation that you need a lot of panels to cover your whole output. That's why the default value of the fixture size is set to 500%. Let me show you what that means in the graphical view of our patch. So we go to the fixture library and select a fixture. Now we choose Add and do a left click in our patch view. So here we have a fixture that is 12 pixels wide and per default it is added with 500% of the fixture size. To cover your complete output width, you need 32 panels at a width of 1920 pixels. With Add Array, you have the option to add several of your fixtures that are already matched together. Here you can also work with the settings for addressing, position and aligning. Now, we change Add Fixture Size to 100%. To cover 1920 pixel with a 12 pixel wide fixture, you will need 160 fixtures. What's best for you depends of course to your situation and your equipment. So let's go back to scratch. Select everything and press Delete. For a better overview when positioning your fixture, you can load a background image. If your LED tile is not in our fixture library, you have to create your own fixture. Go to Edit and open the Fixture Editor. Choose New and a pop-up appears where you can type in the settings for your new fixture. As one fixture can only contain a maximum of one DMX universe, you may have to split your device into several fixtures depending on the channels it'll need. So type in the vendor and the type name of your device. Here we've got the pixel width and height. The start ID and the offset what means how many channels you need for one pixel. For example, you will need an offset of 3 for RGB LEDs and 4 for RGBW LEDs. You can choose between DMX fixture and video tiles, different DMX protocols and the color mode. OK. So now you created a new fixture, which will also appear in your fixture library after you press save. You are now in the edit mode, where you can change the settings of your fixture, like channel IDs, rotating and mirroring. When you move the mouse over the pixel, the channel ID, mode and position is shown in the bottom left corner. Back in the main view, choose your created fixture. As the dimensions of our device are 20 pixels wide and 20 pixels high and we created a fixture with 20 to 4 pixels, we need 5 fixtures. You can add them as single devices or using the add array function again. What we want is to start with DMX channel 1. We want to auto patch using our defined artnet subnet and universe and we want to start at a specific location. In the align mode you can set the correct position within your items including direction, gap and number of items. We now have a fixture array of 20 by 20 pixels at a size of 500%. Completely selected, you can move the array, rotate it and scale it. 
Looking into the single fixtures, we can see that the outer increment works as follows. The first fixture starts with GMX channel 1 in the first universe, which is 0. It has 80 pixel, with an offset of 3, so it needs 240 channels. The second fixture starts at channel 241 in the first universe and goes up to 480. Now the third fixture does not start with channel 481 in the first universe as there are not enough channels left in the first universe. So it starts automatically with channel 1 in the second universe which is DMX universe 1. Now that the patch is addressed and positioned we can save this patch and go back to Pandora's box. As long as you open the matrix patcher within Pandora's box, you will get a warning that preview may not show you what's sent out via Artnet. After pressing OK, you can see that the patch already appears in your project tree. You will get the same warning when you add a patch manually. Select your output layer and drag the patch into the matrix window. Now drag for example the background image you used for the matrix patcher into the project tab and put it on a layer. Now you should already see the part of the image where you patched your fixture on your LED tile. If you realize that your patch is not in the right position, just go back to the matrix patcher. Simply move your fixture, save it and Pandora's box will automatically update the new patch. Thank you for listening. 